Hi, I am Imal Aswad. Now I am going to teach for 10th standard. That is a case study for a case study in arithmetic progressions. So first the problem is in a class teacher ask every student to write an example of IAP. That is arithmetic progression. Two friends Geeta and Madhuri write their progressions as that is the first uh, uh, Geeta's um, arithmetic progression that is APS. Minus 5, minus 2, 1, comma 4, etc. And then next one, that is Madhuri. That is Madhuri, 187, comma 184, 181. So it is in decreasing order. So must be in negative term also uh, come, come in this series. Now the teacher asked various students of the class the following questions on these two progressions. So now the teacher asked the question. So what question is? Uh, following questions help students to find the answer of the questions. The first question is for what value of n or the nth terms of both the APs are equal? For what value of n the nth terms of both the APs are equal? So <laughs>
here what is given which term of the ap formed by madhuri is the first negative term so here that is uh, we, we have to get the negative term so negative term is less than 0 less than 0 so 190 so 190 minus 3n less than 0 so 3n so 3n is less than 190 so n equal to less than 190 divided by 3 that is equal to 6 3s are 18 then 10 3 3s are 9 so n is less than 63 n is less than 63 so we have to find the which term we have to find so first here 3n that is 3n here here we have to bring this 3n only here so 3n greater than 190 so n greater than 190 divided by 3 so n greater than 63 so first we try try for you have to use the trial and error method so first you try for 63 n equal to 64 n equal to 64 so first a a 64 we found that a 64 equal to a is one that is 190 minus 3 3 n so 190 minus 3 into n is here 64 so 190 minus 6 4 so they say 4 3 are 12 1 3 6 are 18 192 so minus 2 so a 64 so for which value and uh, that is the first negative term is a 64 it is the answer the first negative term is minus 2 n equal to 64 a 64 equal to minus 2 so here 190 minus 3 n less than 0 so here here minus 3 n therefore 3 n here to we have to bring this side so 3 n greater than 190 so n greater than 190 by 3 n greater than 63 so we try for 64 first we try for 64 we got the negative term therefore the answer is a 64 thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe